All right, YouTube, many months ago, I praised Turkey as being the true only democracy in the Middle East, as opposed to Israel, which was an authoritarian, sort of vaguely theocratic system at times, certainly an imperialistic system, not really a functioning democracy. Unfortunately, now the last democracy in the Middle East is dead. Turkey is no longer a functioning uh, democratic republic. Erdogan, uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has become a dictator. He is assuming more power for himself. And I will say this. I don't believe that he's smart enough to have orchestrated the coup on his own. Uh, the way in which supposed members of the coup are being treated is not, uh, is not exactly in line with what you would expect to happen after a fake coup that was designed just to grab power. That being said, Tayyip is doing a George W. post 9-11 and using something that was essentially a fairly limited degree of destruction uh, to justify a massive incursion into civil liberty. That's exactly what he's doing. He's already purged the military brass. He's purging it further as we speak. He's going to convene a meeting and he's now openly stating, oh, we're going to restructure the military. So in other words, he intends to stack it with a bunch of tin horn uh, narrow do wells that are loyal only to him. It's essentially a Hitler esque move when you really think about it. He's purging academia, he's purging the police, he's purging the special forces, he's purging businesses, he's purging bureaus, he's purging tens of thousands of people from their positions. This is a major change in the Turkish state. This is not, oh, well, you know. He passed a domestic surveillance law and then maybe he misused it to spy on his ex-girlfriend or he used it to spy on his political enemies, you know, sort of a Nixon light sort of situation. This is a situation where a significant number of people, notable individuals and unnotable individuals, are being relieved of their posts, held, you know, hostage essentially without even charges being brought against them by the thousands. Uh, a state of emergency once declared has been extended. Erdogan is now unilaterally increasing the scope of his own power. To people who are capable of leaving the state of Turkey and who are secular or at least want to live in a secular democratic republic, my strong advice is to leave Turkey immediately and not to wait because you could see additional fighting. Uh, you could see a civil war erupt over what Tayyip is doing. Uh, you could see Turkey kicked out of NATO, in which case it is left, let's face it, largely defenseless uh, in the face of some of its <clears throat> regional opponents. Uh, it would not fare well, one-on-one, -on -one, for example, if it were kicked out of NATO. It would not fare well in a one-on-one -on -one war with Russia, mainly because Russia's got a much larger, more sophisticated military and thousands of nuclear weapons, and the Turks don't have those things. Uh, the Incirlik uh, Air Force Base debacle is probably the most worrying of all, and this is why uh, right now Obama's trying to figure out what the fuck's going on over there, because he came out and said uh, very early when the coup was still ongoing, oh, well, we support the democratically elected Tayyip and all these people. Now there are some concerns, though. The concern is that uh, Tayyip is going to begin executing people or continue to purge people or go rogue and Turkey will become just the giant pleasure palace of Tayyip who wants to reign as more of a sheik or something like that like that like you would have in Saudi Arabia he wants to be sort of a nobility figure he wants to have dictator powers he doesn't want to be the head of a representative democracy he wants more power than that he would rather see a much weaker Turkey solidly under his sole control as opposed to a generally much more prosperous turkey in which he actually has limitations on his power we've seen this happen before and so it's not a good move for this again democratic republic or it was until very recently that was doing fairly well economy wise even though they did get hit with currency problems generally growing at a much swifter pace than a lot of other parts uh, of the EU states because of course Turkey wanted in on the EU and people like Merkel wanted that because they want more foreigners in Europe. They want more non-Europeans to enter Europe. Desperately want that because it's easier to control people who are willing to work for two or three euros a day as opposed to people who demand two months of paid vacation every year and a three-day work week. Um, 
I, I feel very sorry for those within the more Anatolian region, you know, and Ankara or Istanbul or Izmir, some of these more developed areas of Turkey. They're going to suffer, especially in Ankara. It looks like there's where the coup actually took hold the most. He's going to punish the shit out of everybody in that city. Oh, you can, you can, well, he'll probably change capitals, probably change it to Izmir or something like that. I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, this is an attempt to destroy every reform that was ever put into place by Ataturk. This is an attempt to destroy a secular representative democracy in favor of an Islamic Sharia state under the rule of somebody who will essentially just become dictator for life. And that's exactly what he's setting up to do. It doesn't take a genius to see what he's attempting here. It doesn't take a genius to... The coup did not begin his madness. His madness began years ago when he had already begun attempting to enforce more Islamic style doctrines. Islam in the name of the Ottomans, Islam in, in a Turkish nationalist sense. I would warn you that it will quickly devolve into just another Islamic Sharia state and you won't have your nationalism left once you're done because he'll be looking for regional partners that aren't aligned with the EU directly. He'll be sucking Saudi tit before the end is through just to keep his absolute power over Turkey. Of course he will. Of course he will. They'll enter into a mutual defense agreement. You wait and see. Uh, in order to stave off the Iranians, based partially upon what just happened in Munich, where an Iranian-born individual started ranting about Turks and then shot a bunch of people. You think this was a Shia-Sunni sort of struggle here? I think that's likely. By the way, I'm not going to bother making a video about that. It wasn't Islamic terrorism and it wasn't a neo-Nazi. It was somebody who was just deranged. Uh, and, and there may be some ethnic problems there as well between... Iranians and Turks, but that's, you know, that's always happening anyway in the Middle East. Not going to bother doing a video about it. I realize 10 people were killed, including the gunmen, but uh, this happens in Europe every day now, so it's par for the course, not even video worthy anymore. It's gotten to the point where unless 50 people die in a shooting or a truck, a truck attack or a bombing or something, it's not even news in Europe anymore. That's how fucked up it's getting. Turkey is suffering the same fate. They've had bombings all over the place. They have a bombing every friggin' couple of weeks over there. Can you imagine living in that situation? Then you've got this retard running your country, taking more and more power, even though he's obviously inept to actually keep you safe. And he sure as hell doesn't care about the idea of freedom. He doesn't seem to care about the education of Turkey, considering he's shuttering a bunch of private schools, saying, oh, oh, I question their loyalty to my uh, perfect wisdom and my eternal reign. Like he's going to go full fucking transhumanist and live forever and just be dictator for eternity. That's about all. Peace out.